Although we're still in the middle of the holiday of Passover, I want to speak about this week's Torah portion, Parshat Shemini on Shabbat. We'll read about the inauguration of the tabernacle that happened at the final culmination of all the work that had been done to build this tabernacle, this place for God's presence to reside amongst the Jewish people as they were in the desert. <clears throat> it's the eighth day. And on that day, two of the four sons of Aaron, the high priest, go into the Holy of Holies with a fire offering that was not commanded. And as a response, they are consumed by fire. They die in the Kadosha Kadoshim, in the Holy of Holies. And we read in it that Aaron was silent. That's his response to the death of his two sons. Many of you may know that we've had a lot of losses amongst the Jewish people. Many um, couples of siblings have died in terrorist attacks. Um, and a single Alan Ganales, good friend of my son's, was also killed recently. We have these losses and none of us are capable of being silent. Maybe Aaron's silence came from his complete acceptance of God's will. Maybe it came from an understanding that our children don't belong to us. Maybe it represented the enormity of his loss. Maybe, as the Ramban teaches us, that he grieved, he lamented, and then he was silent. However, however we read it, I don't believe any of us are really capable of doing an errand, of being silent in the face of these massive losses, collective losses and individual losses. We, we, we don't accept it. We do on some level, and yet we also grieve very deeply, again, as a people and again, as individuals, trying to, in, in a small way, understand what it must be like to be surviving members of the D family. Um, we don't accept it. We cry out. We continue to cry out when the Jewish people came to the Reed Sea and the sea was in front of us and, and the Egyptians were behind us. We cried out and God said, move, keep moving forward, go forward. And Nachshan ben Amenizaf walks into the sea and the sea splits. So on the one hand, we grieve and we cry out. And on the other hand, we act and we do things. So what does we as Jewish people do? What do we do when we cry out? We cry out and we do acts of kindness. We do acts of love. We do acts of learning Torah. We do acts of bringing godliness more into the world. We understand that God runs the world in ways that we will never understand until the end of days. We do, we do have faith that God runs the world with goodness, even though perhaps we can't always see it. We say Baruch Dynamis, that God is the true judge when we don't see the kindnesses in front of us. We're living in this in these days of the Simcha of Pesach, with the loss of so many young people have been killed recently. And as we carry these two diametric opposites in our hearts, let's steal ourselves, let's cry the tears, let's put more light and more goodness into the world, more learning into the world, more goodness. And please God, we will see at the end of days, please God, that should be soon, why this all had to be the way it is.